We're back with episode 55 of Road to 99 overall in NBA 2K11 My Career, where we start as a 35 and work our way up to 99. 48 games completed. We're sitting at a 57 overall. If you didn't see the last one, we balled out against the Dallas Mavericks. We even made headlines for it. Papa Padoulas hangs 40 on Mavericks and win. We're finally getting the media attention we deserve, but not only are they highlighting our 40-point game, we're number one in the PER report. What does that mean? I have no idea. It is the player efficiency rating and we're number one when i tell you we're efficient we are efficient but when you get media attention like this good things happen and when i say good things i mean endorsement deals we've been in contact with reebok we're trying to get a sponsorship we'll play it by year though but 48 games in we're on an eight game winning streak we're looking to keep it alive objectives for the game record two or more steals we'll play defense we'll get the steals it's a lock force your matchup to commit three turnovers that is it fee i'll get two steals but force them to commit three turnovers i don't know about all that and finish the game with an A plus or better. Consider that a lock. I don't think we've been under an A plus in the last eight games. Stats on the season: 23.3 points per game, 5.6 rebounds, 3.4 assists, 48% from the field, 77% from the line, 39% from three. We drop below 40. We're gonna bring that right back up. Tip off begins. We get it. But next possession, Kalina has a book, he hits me. We go to the spot, fading away, goes in. That's talent. Now we're making a cut into the paint. Ooh. Referee's not blowing his whistle. Ooh. But we get it to go regardless. Finishing contact. Next possession, we're on the break. Clean as a boogie. He sees me. He hits me. Again, we finish in the paint. Upgrading the layup was the best decision we ever made. We've been unstoppable ever since. Pull up midi. Goes in. And the jump shot's clean. Now we're bringing the ball up. Playing fast. Gets stopped by the defense. Hit Amari Stoudemire. Gets it to go. That's an assist. Now Andre Iguodala in the paint. Who does he think he is? We send it out of the stadium. That thing's still sailing across the globe. Fender, go to the left. Spin. Amari Stoudemire slams it in. Lethal combo. And now we're going into the paint. Get the contact. Get the foul. Send that man to the line. We make the first. And you already know we don't miss the second. Free throw goes in. And that takes us to halftime. Evan Turner with five points, two rebounds to assist, but Alejandro Papapadoulos with 10 points, 3 rebounds, 2 assists, and a block. Start of the third, but defense is kind of sagging, so we're just going to rip a 3. Pull up goes in. Add a pull up 3 to the bag. Now we have the ball. We go to the left. We're about to run some plays. Go to the right. Hit Amari Stoudemire. Let him cook. Give that man the apron. Give him the mushroom hat. Let him cook. That's another assist. Fade away midi. That goes in. A little hesitation. Go to the corner. Go back into the paint. Easy layup. It's the fundamentals. Keep it simple, stupid. That's what they usually say, I think. Then we get the rebound. We hit clean as a bookie in the corner. He bangs a three. That's another assist. Now we have the ball. We air it out down the court. Wilson Chandler. He gives it right back. He knows better. Hit the Nilo Gallinari. Another day, another dream shake. That's an assist. Who is that in the stands? Who is that in the stands? Who is that in the crowd? That's a Philly cheesesteak in the crowd. Philly cheesesteak with the bucket and... He's a big Sixers fan. Now we have the ball. We're going to the left. Crossover, crossover. Running out of time. Six feet from the three-point line. Goes in. That's Steph Curry range. That takes us to the fourth quarter. Alejandro is walking like an absolute unit. Amari sets a pick on the right. We hit him. He pulls up at the elbow. That goes in. Now we're gone on the break. We're taking it all the way. And one finish. At the basket, that young couldn't guard it. That's a foul and then some. Call it an N1. At the line, we convert the free throw. Then we have the ball. We're bringing it up. Run straight into the defense. Give it to Amari. He soars in from the half court line. That's how we end the game. 27 points, 10 rebounds, 7 assists. We obliterate our matchup. One out of three objectives, but we get an A+, plus and the win, and 1,606 skill points. And per usual, we are player of the game. I am not surprised. The trade deadline is coming up soon. How do you feel about some of your teammates possibly getting shipped off to another team? What do you think management is trying to do at this point? Trade deadline coming up. You already know what's on my mind. Get Wilson Chandler off this team. I will say it publicly. We don't want him. Get rid of him. Get his Mehmet Okur, and we will go to the promised land. No more questions. That takes us out of the game. 1,667 skill points to spend. And we're going to do so right now. We bring our dunk up to a 60 and our pass up to a 72. And we end the video still as a 57 overall, but bigger things are coming. Possible endorsement deals. Maybe the trade of Wilson Chandler. We don't know yet. You'll have to find out the next one. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like. Make sure you comment. AP for MVP in the comments. And if you're not following, make sure you follow. Because if you're not following, you're not going to see the videos as soon as they're up. And if you're not seeing them as soon as they're up, that means you're late. And if you're late, that means you're not early. And if you're not early, that means you're late. And if you're late, then you're weird. Don't be weird. Just follow. Thank you.